Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good. His mercies endures forever. Solomon's wives. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter. Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, You must not intermarry with them. So the law has a mind, of course, of whom we, his children, are little like and type of mindset he tells us what to do he has a mind even in his creation to give instruction about how holiness goodness truthfulness peace can be maintained you go to a store you pick up you know, an item, electronic item perhaps, you go through the instruction. Many of us are trying to jumpstart into the item without reading properly the instruction. We still find ourselves coming back to read it so that we can walk the item well. If it's somebody that says, you must not intermarry with them, they say, hey, what is this? Some of you are falling deep in love with the world of Lucifer. You don't even know how ugly that world is because of God's mercy, grace, and his sun shining in this timeline. If not, Maybe you would have been beaten by scorpions and all these things. Then you would be falling in love with any worldliness. King Solomon was the third king of Israel after his father David. And from him, the kingdom of Israel was beginning to come apart because the leader himself whether they are humble looking polite looking all these fake fake things they put forward to you to make themselves appear righteous but are not as they blatantly disobey the commands of God Almighty and knowing God the creator Just because they will not keep their own commands, laws given to them from the Lord. Let me read it again, Solomon's wives. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign. You see the word foreign, strange, gentle, heathen, godless, pagan. This end time, many people are saying we are Christian. You are Christian. Do you know that Christian came from Christ and Anna, Mary, son? If you don't know the union between Yeshua, even manifest in the body of Judah, with Anna being the mother of Mary, when they hug, one baby leaped into the other womb there was an exchange the spirit baby went into the womb of Anna and Mary birth the body of Yeshua inhabiting evil father spirits Remember, Abel is still in heaven, 
but he can put his seed. He's like a man pours his seed into his wife. He is still in that baby forming in the womb, but he still exists as a man, husband, separately. So it's not in two places at the same time. And his spirit in the body of the newly formed baby in the womb may mean a lot how he will look. This intelligence, so many DNA pass on. Anyway, the king of glory was talking to King Solomon. Through his laws in Deuteronomy 17. And even in Second Chronicles 7, 14. After the dedication of the temple of God. As the Lord appeared to him again. Do not marry from the strange woman. Why is it that someone act like a... Lucifer, the very stubborn, annoying one. Whose DNA is in the Dan, in the Esau, in the devils of John 844. And so you put it on YouTube, you won't put it. You are getting your pleasure. There's pleasure. God allows this place that should be purgatory for many of you if you are wise. Purge yourself of your sinfulness. And for many of us in Christ Yeshua, it should be our time of training to be disciplined disciples. Waiting for the manifestation of our own Pentecost. When the anointing flows from the pent to the coast, in all levels, for those who waited at the appointed time. So we see King Solomon had a boundary line to go. Marry from the Israelites. Marry from even those who are friends to you. Even to the time of Judah when the Lord Yeshua came, he sought refuge to in Egypt, Pharaoh, with only Israelites there. They have whitewashed the Egyptians to make you think the fake Jews of Galatians 4, 24, 25. Fake Jews, as the Lord exposes them in Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9. Esos. They fake themselves in Egypt in all places. How's their own? Many are enjoying the pleasures of their sinfulness because where they are going after this place, as they hear, depart from me. I never knew you. The Lord was angry with Solomon. In verse 9. The Lord was very angry. The word of God says. The Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned away from the Lord the God of Israel, who appeared to him twice. Yes, the Lord loves us and sometimes for his mission, his vision upon our life, he reveals himself, he appears to us. Solomon was given wisdom as no one in his generation then. Yes, to keep simple commands, marry from Israelites, earthly Israelites, and don't go past marrying from Egypt. So besides going to Egypt to start with, you see when somebody starts the beginning from the boundary, you know it's already almost out of the boundary. Why is he not marrying from the Israelites? The godly woman, the chosen woman, the elect woman, the virtuous woman, the wise woman. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter. Moabites are Chinese. 
and China people. Ammonites, Japan. These two came from Lot. Children, daughters sleeping on their father. In women on top of men position. Against songs of Solomon prescribed biblical position of a man and woman. Edomites are Esau. Today's Esau. Sidonians, Jezebels, and the daughters of Jezebel who copy, copy. Hittites. These ones are the ones of the usually liars. These are the ones from whom Esau had gone to marry their daughters when he grieved his father and mother, Rebecca and Isaac. Also, these Hittites are the ones that are likely attached to Gibeonites. The one that deceived Joshua, saying they came from a long place. They interchanged Gibeon for Hittite. So, you wonder, if those uh, Gibeonites, Gibeonites are different from Gideon. Let's understand that. Because sometimes they are similar names. These Hittites may be the crossbreeding between Esau and Hittite women to give birth to Gibeonites, the deceivers. They are always deceiving, like Esau. Anyway, all these groups were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites. The Israelites, not just kings. The Israelites. Romans 11.36, this has to be very short. It says that God is coming back to save all Israel. The ones he died for, Matthew 1.21. So those who hide under the name Christian, believer, they are deceiving themselves. God has his name on all Israelites. I hope you know that. We are called by his name, Second Chronicles 7, 14, and we have Israelites written on us. He's in the spirit realm. So imagine this one who carry it down in their forehead, Amnon in their forehead, saying they are Christians today, with them changing their names, saying they will come and stand before God and be saying, we did this in your name. We created fake Jerusalem in your name. We won't deceive many people to go there. But you can take the glory of fake Jerusalem. Eh? God does not take defiled food, no defiled glory. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites. So this is not past tense. It's still present. We are still children of Israel. Jacob, Israel, Judah. We are the body of Judah. Still Israelites. Hmm. So if you are going to be saved, as in Romans 11, 26, for God shall save all Israel. You must obey this. You must not intermarry with them because they will surely turn your heart after their gods. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. Nevertheless, this case of attitude, even me, I'm feeling it spiritually. That, ah, so obvious, so everything. And these are the ones that now will be crying, but it will be too late. God wants those who will pledge allegiance to him when he is not there to appear in his glory yet. But some want to see him and say, oh, I want to reign with him. Please, 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 mercy, mercy, mercy. You start crying all this thing because of your nevertheless behavior. Solomon held fast to them, to them, Women from all this place. Samson, body flesh behavior, was killed mainly because he would not marry from the Israelites. But he married from the Philistines. He was supposed to fight the Philistines away, not to marry them. 
Some people don't know their enemy again. They start marrying their enemies. And that's it. Somehow, somehow, they will suffer for it if they don't repent. Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth. He was royalty, so, of course, with his wisdom, the royal people were just pushing their women to him. Can you see how far Solomon went? 700 wives, hey, of royal birth and 300 concubines. And his wife led him astray. As Solomon grew old, his wife turned his heart. Just picture this even physically. You say you want to go to heaven, so people are leading you the program 14 to every way. I know his heart may still be thinking he's going to heaven, he's going to heaven. By the time he realized that they've led him astray, they even gave him reason to turn his heart away from God. And his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God, as the heart of David his father had been. Verse 6. Solomon did evil in the eyes of the Lord, God of Israel, that is. Solomon, as in King Solomon, did not follow the Lord completely, as David his father had done. You listening, do you follow the Lord completely? With all your heart, mind. Watch a true life movie of where the wicked were using their position to play God. Swapping a male baby for a female baby. And when the nurse to swap the baby was called and told to do so, the nurse was saying, no, 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 I'm a professional, I can't do that. This is true life story. I cannot do that. I oh, no, no, he's above my, this, da, da, da. I think the doctor would have studied her from before. The doctor just wrote something and passed it to her. She looked at it, it was a check. 200,000 naira. Uh, and then she fell almost immediately. I was beginning to like her when she was like, no, she cannot do that. Ah, so baby, no, no, even God, my belief, my Christian belief, my does not allow. No, no, my profession does not allow. No, no, no. These doctors that do all this kind of thing, do you know they collect a lot of money from these rich people? This woman is ready. This is what I was thinking. She's ready to give her daughter away because she wants a son. She's had two daughters there about. So the third one, by scanning, 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 is a girl. She just believed that she needs a male at all costs. If not, the husband will throw her away or something. So she's ready. A woman will be ready to suckle another woman's baby and careless where her own baby girl. Ends. I said, this is not the world I want to live in. I can take in other children's, you know, be other women's baby and children to care for or care for them. Let them be near their mother. Even those who go and take baby from Africa when their parents, their families are still there. Why not give them the money if you truly care? Before you can take a soul, a, somebody away, it must be danger, danger. If you can give them the money, not come and be fronting our children anyhow. Anyway, let me know that about. The nurse did not love the Lord completely. But when she was first asked to do if you see her argument, no, I can't do that too. A check of 200,000 naira bought her conscience and so she has received her prize. That one tomorrow now we hide her sin and say she's going to heaven. Let me tell you the truth. We are deceiving ourselves because we don't know 
the God we serve. Many of you are serving Facebook, long hair Jesus. Fake Jesus. Just say mercy, I forgive. Just say this. You are not serving this same God, Holy One of Israel. That took decision against Solomon. So Solomon did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He did not follow the Lord completely. When you are following who God says you shouldn't follow, how can you follow God completely? You go to Esau, he's the one that anoints you, he's the one that do this, he's the one that do that. Eh, you are not following the Lord completely. It's evil so clear. Verse 9. The Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned away from the Lord. And the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. But with all that, that's not a guarantee to present oneself as if one is already finished keeping the command. So you go to the Ten Commands, you check. Go to all the list of those who will be wayward this end time in Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Check that you are not part of those Luciferic <laughs> symptoms and signs. That God says, stay away from those people. If God is saying, stay away from those people because he's going to spoil them out. According to Revelation 3, 15 to 20. None of them will still sing in church, do all these things that run of their let them continue. God will not be mocked. Although he had forbidden Solomon to follow other gods, Solomon did not keep the Lord's command. Solomon did not keep the Lord's command. Solomon did not keep the Lord's command. Some people are more concerned about, I'm a child of God. Solomon is a king of Israel. You keep talking about the part that you are. What of the part that you have failed God? And he's a child of God. He's king of Israel. So, that doesn't mean you make heaven if he doesn't obey the commands of God. God, um, God Almighty does not want anybody that will be against his commands. He is already angry with Solomon. So the Lord said to Solomon, since this is your attitude, I have not kept my covenants and my decrees, which I commanded you. I will most certainly tear the kingdom of Israel away from you and give it to one of your subordinates. Unfortunately, the subordinate giving these ten tribes why two tribes went to Solomon's uh, son? That subordinate became paranoid. Geo Jeroboam and diverted the children of Israel from worshipping in the temple built by Solomon. Because he didn't want Solomon nor his descendants, Rehoboam, to have him killed and take over the temple tries he was supposed to lead. You see what judgment was passed on Solomon because of this issue of intermarry. So it's left to you. Go the Solomon way and the Lord too will judge you the Solomon way. You can read it properly yourself. Shalom.